repair crews have completed work on a leak at the base of the Artemis launcher. That is the gray tower next to the spacecraft. NASA officials have not yet said if the issue will delay the planned 104 a.m. launch. That launch window is open until 304 in the morning. Now, despite the early launch window, people are lined up along the coast right now, and they've been out there all day. This is what Space View Park looked like earlier today. All of these people hoping to get a glimpse of the rocket blasting off. New 6's Troy Campbell is there live to continue our live team coverage. So, Troy, what are you seeing? Well, I think all the people in our video from before, they're still here. Space View Park here in Titusville, it's packed. Um, the crowd's very excited, and for the most part, they're remaining hopeful that this launch will, in fact, go after this uh, leak repair is finished. Most people in the crowd, they got here several hours ago, making sure that they got their perfect spot to view the launch. People are wearing their NASA shirts, some are wearing Artemis t-shirts, showing their excitement for the historic launch. People here staying optimistic while those crews make their way to the launch pad to make those repairs. After that leak was detected, space watchers from around the world are here in this crowd. Many of them tell us it's important to see the launch here in person because of its importance for our country and space exploration as a whole. These launches, you can show up 10 minutes, 15 minutes before, a, you know, a historic launch like this. You have to be here early if you want a good spot. I love seeing this. I really enjoy seeing this. And I know they'll go forward and forward. Um, I just think it's great. And the crowd here, it's only getting larger. So, um, you know, any word of any possible leak has not deterred people in their excitement uh, to see this launch. So, again, we will stay here as all eyes focusing here across the river at the launch pad. Live in Titusville, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6.